Hello friends, today I will discuss how to create one dimensional array, two dimensional array and three dimensional array using for loop. So first I will tell you the differences. In the case of one dimensional array, we have only elements. So how we can create one dimensional array using for loop? So for that purpose I just use a for loop over here as you see and I just drag and drop a random number it will create from 0 to 1 value and connect it to the edge and over here I get this is my one dimensional array and over here you can put the size over here create control for this in this case as you see over here I got the one dimensional array you can drag like this or you can drag like this okay so I just put over here like 10 so it will give me 10 values because my loop runs 10 times or you can say if you want to check how many time loop runs you can check over here it will give me also a one dimensional array as you see loop value will be from 0 to 9 in this case because my loop for loop will run up to n minus 1 okay so this is how we can create one dimensional array using for loop only elements are there if you want to create two dimensional array in that case over here this is my program for one dimensional array I just create another for loop in this case I just use this iteration for the values and just take another for loop means nested loop loop under the loop in this case I will get two dimensional array over here this is my two dimensional array you can check out the wire over here the width of the wire is different from here and over here the width of the wire is different from here and from here so over here I got just change it to the control and just change it to the create another control over here okay so like over here I just put 3 cross 3 in this case when I hit on run button I got the value as you see over here it is not connected so I want to connect it place it inside just increase the size of this loop I just place over here and in this case I got the value so as you see I got the value 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 basically inner this one will decide the row value and this one will decide the column value and I want to check it over here if 4 is there in this case as you see this is the row value this is the not this is the column value and this is the row value okay so as you see outer is my row inner is my column and in the case of two dimensional array we have row column and element okay so as you see how we can create two dimensional array using for loop now I want to go to three dimensional array how we can create three dimensional array using for loop so for that purpose again we have to just create a 
loop just create control over here and just connect to the edge drag and drop another for loop connect this again over here create another control and just drag and drop another for loop means loop under the loop under the loop in this case I got three dimensional array just create an indicator over here create a control over here like over here I want to put value 2 2 and 2 ok in that case when I hit on run button so over here as you see in the case of two dimensional array this will <coughs> give you the row value this will give the column value over here we have in the case of three dimensional array we have row column element and page ok so this is how you can create three dimensional array two dimensional array and one dimensional array in using for loop thank you